Hello and welcome. Shotcut has a new version and I just got it. Come on now. Go away. Anyways, uh, you can see this is version 18.3.6. So let's take a look at the new things in it. First of all, there's a new filter, the sketch filter. We can find it in the video filter section. Scroll down, sketch. There we go. So this is it. There are no presets included. Uh, we, yeah, the contrast is very noticeable. Color? Yeah, let's have the line tiny. All right. So this is the sketch filter. Quite colorful, if you want it to be. All right, speaking of filters, if we go to the color grading filter, we can now enter numbers instead of having to use the, uh, the disk for the colors. So that's nice for people who want to use precise numbers, of course. Oh, this is really nice. Cool. There seems to have been an advancement in multi-track support in video files and audio files, I suppose. This one is a, a single track audio file. All right, so here we have this multi-audio track video file. Let's play it back. This is uh, track one. We have some background audio. Now let's switch to track two. This very subtle humor. We have some voice, but the uh, audio preview does not change, unfortunately. Then we're going to switch to track three, which is silence. That's how it was recorded. It's just a superfluous channel. And if we whoops, go to audio and then all, and then play back this very subtle humor, then we can hear the music and the voice. So that's very good. Uh, one problem I noticed. This is a very long video, which I sh uh, cut short. MOV form, no, MP4 format. Huh. And uh, if I go back from audio track all to one, then it crashes. Fortunately, it does back up. Uh, what if we go back to none? Ah, and can we go now to num one? Oh, okay. So that's a workaround. You don't have to crash. Back to new features. Uh, a new translation has been added. This time, Estonian. The changelog says that image loading on Windows is faster. We can actually test this. This is shortcut uh, 18.1 and I'm going to import a uh, 1080p image. And now in 18.3. Also quick. So let, let's try a bigger image. First, the old version with an image that is uh, nearly 4000 by 3000 pixels. Uh, this is the old version of shortcut. I think that felt like six or seven seconds. And now the new version. Oh, that was super quick. Nice. Now this I love. I love being able to test things like that. Um, now let's double check for the case that there is a cache that was created that uh, the new version was able to use. Let's use the new version first. Let's clear it. And now the big image again. Okay, that was less than one second. Anyways, let's load the big image again in the old version this time. And it's taking seconds and seconds and seconds. So this one, definitely an improvement. And again, this is just 1801. And 1803 is so much better at this already. The next thing that is supposed to be improved is a mouse wheel or trackpack scrolling in the timeline. Let's see, uh, control mouse wheel zooms out, zooms in. Shift mouse wheel changes the vertical size. Alt mouse wheel does nothing. Shift control both actually work together, but really I need some mouse wheel function for horizontal scrolling instead. This is in the new version, in the old version. Let's uh, test it real quick. Mouse wheel, I mean, let's add it. Let's an audio, add an audio track. Scrolling in, the, in here does nothing. Uh, in the new version, if we add an audio track, then scrolling, ah, goes down, up and down. So this is an improvement, but to be honest, it would be much more useful if I could use the standard mouse wheel to scroll right and left. Again, this is the, in the new version. In the old version, mouse wheel does not move up and down. I have to use this here. So basically only the vertical scrolling apparently has been added, which is good. I mean, this is much better than having to use the uh, side the scroll bar. The Jack Audio Connection Kit support has been improved. This only affects Linux and Mac OS though. FFmpeg and VP9 encoder have been updated, which means VP9 encoding should be much faster. VP9 being, as far as I understand, the leading and hot open source video codec right now. 
Let's see, where is it? WebM VP9 over here. So this one should be faster. Hey, we can test this, right? <laughs> this is great. Okay, so Dark is the old version. And uh, White is the new version. Let's just check this. Yep. And now let's have a little race, uh, except we're not going to have them encoding at the same time. Instead, uh, after one after the other, and then we'll compare the total time. Okay, so we already have a problem. Frames per second is different. How come? GPU. GPU, video mode, automatic, video mode, automatic. Okay, let me just start both of them and uh, do this again. All right, so this time both have the same frames per second. This is still the old version, uh, 1801. This is still the new version, 1803. So we're going to go with the old version first. And we're just going to go ahead and render this. All right, after 22%, it predicts 1 minute 35, but it's going up. Well, we'll see. Let's just make sure the codec settings are the same. 2 megabits, GOP is the same, average, audio doesn't really matter. And all these seem to be the same as well. Row, row MT is, seems to be added here. 15% hmm. left, and that should be 20 seconds. All right, here we have it, 2 minutes 24 seconds in the old version, so now let's encode in the new one. And go. Okay, <laughs> we are at 20% already, it predicts 40 seconds, less than 40 seconds. Wow, this is gonna be 4 times as fast? Maybe 3 times as fast. <laughs> Impressive. I can keep talking while it encodes. Um, we are at 50%. And the prediction is 20 seconds. I guess this was 40 seconds in total. Maybe, maybe 50 seconds. We will see in 10 seconds uh, exactly. Of course, the last five free seconds are the longest. Uh, not quite sure, but I think it just gets copied, perhaps a file, or maybe verified. So yeah, 50 seconds, uh, 48 seconds to be exact. Only one third of the time exactly. A decrease of 66% in time, an increase of 200% in speed. This is impressive. Get out of here, 18.1. On the technical side, MLT has been updated to 6.6.0. I am not uh, on top of things regarding features of MLT, but there also has been an upgrade to SDL version 2.0 which I assume might be better performance, better stability. Oh yeah, as a bonus, the mosaic filter has been added. Let's find this one. Mosaic is over here. Yeah. Now we can set the size of a, well, boxes, let's call it. This is the classic censorship filter. And uh, let's see how we can censor with this. I think this is a, there was a big thread on the forums about censoring video. And there was a blur was an option, but that's not really that cool. So if we have the same video on top of each other, let's just move it to the side first. And uh, let's just remove mosaic from here. So the video on top, we're going to add, first of all, in video, uh, the uh, mask filter, right? So now nothing happens. But if we uh, now the bottom one, if we add the mosaic filter to it, let's scroll down mosaic. Whoa. This is cool. Now we have like the center is uh, blurred, well, mosaic'd. And we can uh, s reduce the softness. Let's make it crisp and we can make it smaller. Rotate. Probably hard to see. Let me just move it to the side. And where are we? Here. Now we're f uh, censoring this bush. So this is cool, as long as your object stays at the same place or you are okay with splitting the clip again and again, the track, then this should be pretty good. This is it for all the good news in Shotcut 1803. Make sure to get it. It's a free download, less than 300 megabytes. Definitely worth it if you are a fan of VP9. Definitely worth it if you work with multiple tracks and need to scroll through them vertically. So I hope this video was useful and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!